Hello fellow artists. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got something really fun and special. It's an unboxing of the AFMAT Long Point Pencil Sharpener that AFMAT generously sent to me for a review. Yay! I've never used a long point pencil sharpener before, so I was really excited to try this. Actually, I found out that it really is pretty cool. Hey everybody. Okay, so here I am reviewing the AFMAT super long point pencil sharpener. Off mat did send this to me. They saw my unboxing of their, I guess, regular pencil sharpener a while back. It's uh, a YouTube unboxing video. Now I've always shied away from long point pencil sharpeners. So after reading about long point sharpeners, the benefit of using them that you get more pigment basically whatever pencil you're using on your paper so you don't have to sharpen it as much. I'm going to put that to the test but first we are going to unbox and sharpen some pencils. Okay so here we go. going to plug it in. Okay, I got it plugged in and ready to start testing. Well, let's do this. First, I have some Derwent Light Fast. Um, this is Dark and Dingo. Okay. Oh, yeah, definitely. It broke a little bit. That's okay. Now let's try the uh, Karen Dash Luminance. All right, Karen Dash Luminance. Amazing. What it has is a blunt or a really sharp point that you can use. So I had it on really sharp. Now I'm going to do blunt with a graph wood from Karen Dash, which is their graphite pencils. So here we go. All right, I went till it stopped. Okay, yeah, that um, it is, you know, I guess what's the definition of blunt, right? So here, that's nice. I'm going to be using this sharpener for a sketch of a German Shepherd of a pet portrait that I'm doing. So I'm going to be doing a sketch using this sharpener. So I will have that uh, coming in uh, probably a few seconds here. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the sharp and let's see what the difference is. I'm actually, I'm going to use a similar color. So I'll use just one value up here, Karen Dash Graphite, um, or I'm sorry, Graph Wood. And this was the sharp, sharpened edge. So let's see what the difference is. Actually, I think what I'll do is, um, here's the sharper one. Yeah, it's definitely sharper. Wow. I can see how, yes, you, I can see there is definitely a difference where you get, it stays sharper longer um, because of the long point. <laughs> it's just really what it is. It's just the long point. So I, I don't know if I see, okay, so here's the big difference between the two. So the blunt was this one, the bottom one, and it was definitely not as long of a point, right? You can see less of the pigment, the graphite, and this 
is definitely longer. Here's a watercolor pencil that I'm gonna try. Um, not, this, not really sure, I'm going to the blunt for the watercolor pencil because it's not really, I'm not, you know, watercolor pencils are kind of design, or I usually use them kind of messy. Don't expect to get a fine point from a watercolor pencil. Um, but if I'm saving pigment, right, if I'm saving, you know, if I want more of the barrel in the sharpener and not the pigment and uh, I want more wood in there, less pigment basically is what I'm saying. So that's it's really actually pretty nice. So I haven't done a polychromos yet. Let's do a polychromos. Okay, so that's the blunt. I'm gonna go to the sharpened and just go right in there. Wow, that's pretty sharp. That's really sharp. That's, that's really sharp. I mean, holy cow. And look at all the pigment that it's showing. So. I mean, even if you want to do something like this to get a large area and to save time with colored pencils, you know, anything for to save some time is a bonus. You can do a little cross hatching that way, right? Here we go. Um, let's see, let's see if we can get some fine points here. Very nice. I'm actually really impressed. I didn't, I've never used a uh, long point pencil sharpener before, but I have to say, I think I am going to be using this one for a while and see how I like it compared to the regular pencil sharpener, which um, is this one. I mean, they look super similar. You can't tell, but this is the regular one. I guess the way to tell the difference is right here. This is kind of a really short as a blunt selection. And then you have a regular point where this one has a longer blunt selection and a long point. So that's probably, that's the only way I'll be able to tell them apart. One more test before I go and do my German Shepherd sketch using this sharpener. This is the water soluble Durant sketching pencil and I love these pencils and they kind of already come when they sharpen, I don't know, something about the barrel maybe, I don't know, because they're so thick, they actually come to a really nice sharp point. So let's see how sh how long and pointy, uh, for lack of a better word, this pencil gets with the long point sharpener. So let's try this one. Wow, look at that. Oh man, that is, that's pretty awesome. What I can do with this is because this is water soluble, this is great to either create a background effect and then add water, or this is awesome for getting a fine point to do a sketch. This is I'm very impressed. And look at all this lead I have to go before it gets dull. So I can definitely see I do not need to sharpen this. First, I can do a lot of drawing before, oh, we got a little breakage there. Um, I'm kind of, that was kind of a medium pressure, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, I can see not having to sharpen this for a while, getting a lot covering. Ah. I can see covering a lot of space 
area on my paper before I have to sharpen. So here I'm going just, this is, um, yeah, this is a lot. I don't really foresee sharpening for a while because also because as I draw, I am turning my pencil so I can keep the point sharp too. And that helps to not having to sharpen so much as well. So you will save pigment that way. 